Grace, take one. Thank you. I'm back. My favorite guitar player is um, Slash. <laughs> we kind of have the same hairstyle. Yeah, I do three sports here. I do track, basketball, and volleyball. We're currently in basketball season and we're heading towards the playoffs. We're undefeated right now. I just love doing sports throughout the whole year and I made a lot of good friends there last year, so I want to do it again. The greatest thing about Shelton, probably the fine arts. I'm in drumline, band, and the theater productions. Yeah, it's like the best school I ever went to. And my teachers are really nice and calm. I'm going into Take Apart Club. They bring us like machines and stuff, like these screwdrivers and like other stuff to like take it apart. I was nervous moving to Shelton for our family, um, just because it's a change, it's something different. I wasn't too keen on going to a new school. I really liked the school that I was in despite struggling a lot in it, and I was just shy. It was hard. I used to cry going to school every day. No one really explained anything to me. So I fell really behind really fast. And we had 30 people in our class, so we didn't have enough space in the classroom. So they sat me in the hallway. The academics were a little challenging for me because teachers didn't really know how to handle my learning differences as well as they do here at Shelton. I have dyslexia, dyscalculia, and I have ADHD. I don't know, so, like we um, learn differently. Yeah, mm -hmm. like. Um, we think different. Yeah. Like our minds work different. Uh-huh. So he was ADD and uh, I was dyslexic. Um, ADHD and dyslexia. Trouble paying attention and uh, difficulty reading sometimes. Sometimes science. Just anything that had to do with like words or like high focus. For me, because I have dyslexia and ADHD, they would pull me out of like reading class and they'd have me do uh, certain things for my dyslexia, but that didn't really help. As a parent, once you get here, you're like, I know the mountains and trials and tribulations that we've all been through to get to this point. And then just knowing that my daughter is with other kids that have also been through a lot. And you know, these kids have been knocked down for years, you know, and may not have the best self-esteem but now they're in a place that is lifting them up, a place that, yes, you can be you, and it's okay. Here, I'm able to get a lot of extra help, but in a way where they work it to fit me. Shelton just allows me to have these great accommodations. I have the ability to ask the teacher to repeat the, the, the instructions, which is brilliant. The amount you can, like, choose what you're able to do. Like I can choose if I want to take an honors class, an non-honors class. I can choose what classes I take to a certain extent. Biggest difference I'd have to say would be the people in like classes. It's way smaller groups here. Unlike at my other school, there was like 25 other kids in the class. So getting the teacher's attention was a lot harder. Here they give you time to finish everything and they just go at a better pace. Compared to my old school, it's definitely it's a lot better now, and I noticed that the teachers actually take the time to make sure that I am not falling behind on anything. It's They made you feel not very smart, but here I've realized I am smart and that I can do it and that I just needed the right people to show me how to do it. I will tell you the first accomplishment we saw was um, a growing confidence. Um, something that we always knew he had in him, but we were watching that confidence go down. And within that first year, we were seeing the confidence go up. I think it's a dream come true for Catherine. You know, she needed something different. She needed a little more time. She needed um, teachers that would really pour into her. And, and she's reciprocating. She's given that back. Shelton gave us our kid back. This is a, Kenny was a kid that 
didn't like to go to school. We'd have the stomach aches in the morning. We'd be upset when we got home. And from the minute he found out he was gonna go to Shelton, he was happy. Uh, not only was the confidence going up, but his comfort level with um, reading, his engagement with uh, homework and responsibility levels, we just, we were seeing kind of a whole child develop. I would say, I would definitely say thank, thank you. <laughs> and I would say that, that, um, that they helped me a lot to learn how to be able to be my own person and be independent. I've always really wanted my parents to see that I am smart and that I can do the work and that I wasn't just messing around. And so now that I'm here, I'm now in NHS. Um, I get to do things for the school. And it's really nice just to show them like, hey, like I am able to do all this. I like to thank them for making me the person I am today and helping me develop a love to learn. Thanks for teaching me how to do things, how to actually do math and read. That's, it's been really helpful. Thank you guys for pushing me to be my best.